Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Elisabetta, an Italian watercolor artist with a passion for art supplies. Today I have a brand new limited edition set by Schminke. I just bought this because I thought it was too cute to miss it. So let's um, see what it is. Let's open it and let's swatch it. This is called Vintage Set. It's nine small pans and one tube. Really curious to swatch the colors. So it's a limited edition and it's brand new. Just came out, I think I bought it the first day it was available. I will put the link in the description box. Okay, this is always a difficult moment for me with the cutter. Okay. So it's a tin box, it's a tin box, it's very cute this, and uh, oh, I will, I think I will open the sleeves because it was really hard, so it's, you know, Schminke always has very sturdy boxes, and uh, Pretty nice. It's a large mixing space. There are some stickers inside. Spread creativity. Schminke official. Inspiration is calling with a vintage sketch. Very pretty. I will stick one of these on the um, outside of my box. Palette explanation by mixing titanium opaque white because there is one. You see one tube of titanium opaque white with any other shade, the shade becomes lighter and more opaque. This allows painting on dark surfaces with light colors. I never do, I never paint on dark surfaces. So, And uh, there are some instructions how to make these uh, nice uh, roses. Very nice. And uh, here there is a swatch card for the inside. I always use those. And it says, fill the upper left-hand corner of each color chart sector with a plentos amount of watercolor. Wash the brush and wet the right-hand corner with pure water. I'll do so. Then remove the excess water from the brush by pressing it out or by shaking. Subsequently connect it in the center of the particular sector, the still moist watercolor with the applied water. This will produce an infinitely viable flow of color from light to dark. Interesting. Also in Italian. Okay, I'll do so. Okay, so there are nine pans and uh, this uh, small tube. There, are, there is space for extra pans from uh, Schminke. This is the Horadam series because they have many sets of the Academy series, which is the student grade. But this is Horadam, which is the artist grade by Schminke, which is top, top, top quality. I just can't wait to swatch them. Let's go and swatch them. I'm opening the colors. And what I can, I can tell you is that uh, these pens look uh, hand poured, uh, not extruded, but just poured. Maybe not hand poured, but just poured. And um, extruded pens are convex, whereas uh, poured pens are usually flat or a bit concave. And uh, what is also interesting is that uh, the ruby red dip had uh, some warning of the paper about a possible allergic reaction. I'm a very allergic type, but I don't think I'm allergic to Schminke colors. So I will continue, but it is interesting. This is uh, Potter's Pink. I will continue. I'm ready to swatch my colors. Um, Today it's summer and I left the window open so you might hear birds chipping here and there and uh, I think it's nice. So I hope you don't mind some noise coming from my window. 
I'm ready to swatch this uh, lovely set. It's very interesting that they put three colors, three colors, and three colors. Warm colors, cold colors, earth colors, so that I can continue adding yellows and reds, or blue and greens, browns and ochres, or darks. It's a very interesting way to invite you to complete the set. But in any case, let's start swatching. I start by adding some clean water with an eyedropper. I'm not using the white here because I would never mix a white with the, these colors. It's not my style. I might use this for, um, I don't know, maybe last touches. But um, we'll see what, uh, but maybe of course you, some of you will feel free to use it for mixing, but the titanium white for me is not much for mixing. That would be more Chinese white or zinc white. Titanium white is very opaque and it's more for final touches, highlights. So I will, I'm not using it for mixing. Okay, I start with the root eye yellow. Rutile Yellow is PY53 and it's a warm light yellow. It's light yellow, but it's not cold like lemon yellow. It's a semi opaque and it's more uh, similar for me to in the family of um, Naples Yellow or Nickel Titanate Yellow. Those uh, warm. Uh, yellows that uh, are great for sky or for vintage sketches like suggested here and as usual Schminke is fantastic German brand it's very pigmented very soft wets immediately and it spreads in a lovely way on paper now oh, this was Rutile yellow Then I have, uh, I will skip this one because it's slightly wet. I go to Potter's Pink and uh, this uh, Potter's Pink is the same that I have in my main studio palette. So you might have seen it already if you subscribe to my channel because uh, it's the one that I have in my main palette. And it's a lovely granulating color it's uh, very suitable for vintage sketches. It's a very old pigment, actually, PR233. And uh, it's one of those colors that uh, are just naturally over granulating. I love it so much. It has a very weak um, tinting power, but it's a lovely color. I skip some of them because uh, I don't want to bleed. Then I go to Cobalt Green Turquoise. This is made with PB36, so it's slightly greenish that uh, the other Cobalt Turquoise they have, which is PG50. You see it's a Cobalt Turquoise, but leaning towards uh, green. Let me just add water. Oh, it spreads so beautifully on paper. Wonderful color. It should naturally granulate, not as much as Potter's Pink maybe, but lovely softer granulation. Okay, now I go back to Ruby Red Deep. It's a pyral rubine. It's a cold, uh, it's medium red actually. And uh, it's transparent. It's very beautiful. It has a slight bluish uh, undertone. Oh, let me close the window. My neighbor has decided to mow the lawn now. So I will continue. I hope you don't hear too much the 
mowing machine that he's using. I have shot to the window. Beautiful, beautiful. Parallel colors are just wonderful. I think uh, I don't have many of these pigment PR 264. I have uh, I have it in some mixes uh, from uh, Rosa Gallery, but I don't have it pure. It's the first time I have it pure. Then I go to this color that is um, Indastron Blue. They call it dark blue, it's PB60. It's an alternative, warmer alternative to indigo with the advantage that it is a single pigment. It's very dark blue that uh, I have uh, in my main studio palette. And uh, it's opposite to indigo, which is always a mix. This is a single pigment. In indigo, usually there is some type of black, and here you don't have it, so it's uh, it's nicer actually than indigo. It's very nice, especially in mixes. Look at this, really lovely. Then I have one of my favorite colors, which is green earth. This is not the pure single pigment, the genuine single pigment, uh, which is PG-23. And it's a mix of PBR-7, natural iron oxide, this pigment used in burnt sienna, for instance, and PG-7, phthalo green. But the result is very similar to the genuine Green Earth. I would love to soon compare Green Earth in one of my next videos. I have quite a few because I like this color. Perfect for a vintage sketch. Then I have um, two colors that I have never seen before. And one is Gold Brown. Wow, this is really beautiful, gold brown. Let me just wash it down. This is really beautiful. It's PY65. Which is a um, Mansa Yellow Deep. And... Um, PBR41, which is azo condensation. It's a modern pigment, PBR41. And it's really beautiful. It's a golden brown, exactly as it says. I had never seen this before. It's really beautiful. Oh, for a, an old vintage suitcase. Imagine this, fantastic. Transparent brown, which is this um, as a condensation, pure. This is one pigment that I really have very seldom met in my life. It reminds me a little of PBR 25 permanent brown. It's quite transparent. When applied thin, at least, really reminds me of PBR 25. Another pigment that I really love, PBR41, transparent brown. It's very beautiful brown, slightly reddish. These two together, side by side, are wonderful. And then I got this neutral gray, which is um, PR255, Pearl Scarlet, PB60, this Indathron blue here and uh, benzimidazolon orange PO62. It's very dark, very, very dark, super pigmented, beautiful. It's a type of Spain's gray, actually. It looks a bit like Spain's gray, but it's neutralized by the orange. It's really nice. Fashion on paper is wonderful everywhere. It's like a breeze and uh, 
I'm in love with this palette. So we let this dry, but I will for sure try a small um, sketch while uh, we wait for this paint to dry. But I'm already in love, I hope you are too. So I have prepared a small um, pencil sketch. I will use my pen, my fountain pen to define the outlines and maybe change something basically from my imagination, so there is no reference image for this one. But I have taken some vintage illustrations and put them together. <laughs>
very well now everything is perfectly dry and uh, wow this is a very very lovely palette and i think that uh, colors are very well picked for uh, vintage sketches i've had some difficulties in the sketch in combining an orange for instance uh, was not so easy because uh, these two together give a muddy, a muddy ochre. They don't give exactly an orange, but um, if you adapt uh, and uh, use this limited palette, I think you can find a very lovely effect, vintage effect. The colors are very high quality. It is not, of course, a complete palette. The only green is this. Uh, green earth very vintage potter's peak very vintage it has a very strong vintage personality and character colors have a lovely muted vintage feeling maybe i should have tried uh, mixing each color with the titanium white but it is not something i would do in a real life so i haven't but um, i can uh, now try and add some uh, titanium white uh, highlights on my sketch. I think it is a very nice addition to any palette because colors are quite unusual. So it's a perfect complement to a basic palette and it's perfect, I think, for vintage sketching. Uh, you can really play with it and uh, have fun. I especially love the Potter's Pink, the Rutile Yellow and the Gold Brown and also Transparent Brown. These four are really great, but they're all very nice colors. So it's a, it, it's curiosity more than a must have, but um, I, I was really curious to try it. Schminke is always very, very high quality. And this uh, small set by Schminke, I think that they really stimulates creativity. Let's go down to my sketch. Let's see if it is dry. I have to take off the tape, which is obviously scary and uh, satisfying at the same time. But with this paper, it's more satisfying than scary. I have used this 25% um, cotton by Fabriano. I will show you. Okay. This is the paper I have used, 201264 Fabriano watercolor. It's very good paper for uh, advanced swatching, as I call it, or uh, and for quick sketches like this. You know, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. When first time I use a palette, all I do is play to see how it behaves on uh, on real paper, so I will not just now reinforce some lines when I see shadow. This is something that I always do when I use ink. Let me just do this. And then I will also try and use uh, some uh, white on top so that we can see what type of... Mm. Here too. This is really a lovely exercise, reinforcing lines in shadow. It, I think it makes objects pop even more. Here too. Sorry to do this now, but it's a fun exercise and it must be completely dry you know i'm pretending that light is from here so fun exercise okay i think i'm done i'm never really done with my sketches, so much fun.
about lines where she dark. Okay, now we add some uh, of this titanium white on the refrigerator, for instance. <gasps> wow, this was over full. I think this looks a bit like wash. So let me take a very, very fine um, fine brush. Yes, it's perfect for last touches, right? Look at this. Very nice. This is, you know, a window, so it's glass here too. Just some touches here and there, they, they make a difference. And this titanium white is just perfect. Because it's very opaque. It's just like wash. It's fun. Okay, this was in advanced swatching, so it was just to see how it behaves. Okay, I hope you appreciated this um, swatch and this um, review of uh, this lovely set uh, by Schminke, this, uh, this vintage set. And uh, what is your experience with Schminke? Have you got any other limited edition set? Have you heard this uh, vintage set before? Let me know what anything let me know anything you would like to share with me about schmink or vintage color or vintage sketches and uh, i'm always happy to chat please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so so you will not miss my next videos and thanks a lot for having stayed with me in this uh, long review and uh, ciao 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 thanks a lot ciao